Awesome. Good morning. Let's pray. Oh, Holy Spirit, just take everything of who we are, Lord. Our lives are before you. And we pray that, that you would just minister to us in every area. Holy Spirit, you are welcome in this ministry and you are the one who brings life and in you is the victory. It's an honor to be in ministry with you, Spirit of God. Come and enjoy this morning with us. Amen. Awesome. So the word that I have this morning with regards to the offering. So in the week, I was just, God just shared this word with me. If, if faith is all I've got, what a lot I've got. So the word that we're speaking about is Smarties. Because Smarties um, quote, their slogan is what a lot I've got. So John 6 verse 5 says, Jesus looked up. And seeing that a vast multitude was coming. So Jesus knew what was coming. And Jesus knows, God knows what is coming in your life. And then he asked to Philip, where do we buy bread so that all of these people may eat? Now this was the mission impossible. He knew that it was not possible to feed all of these people. But still he asked him. Jesus wasn't looking for the facts. He could see all of the people. He saw the vast multitude coming. Jesus was looking for faith. So when we look at our finances, God is not looking for the facts. This is what is in your bank account. This is what you have. He's looking for faith. He's looking, are we willing to answer with faith? Now, now John 6, 6 says, um, but he said to prove this to him, for he well knew what he was going to do. So when God is asking you, what is happening in your finances? He's not asking you to give him an account of, of the numbers, the balance, the income, the outcome, the, 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 um, the expenses that you have. He's looking to hear, do you have faith to, for what is necessary? God already knows what he's going to do about your mountain. He knows this mountain is going to move. Why? Because he has given you the authority. He has given you the words to speak, to look at this mountain in your finances and say, mountain of it looks like there's a lack of finances move so he already knows what he is going to do and what he has done with regards to that mountain now john 6 verse 7 philip answered him so he brought the facts 200 pennies 40 dollars so i converted that that's 735 rand and 81 cents worth of bread is not enough that every that everyone may eat even a little so he was bringing the facts do not be intimidated when the facts when what you see before you and what you need is not yet the same and these are the words that God shared with me um, right before we moved down to Mossel Bay the Holy Spirit said to me Chanel don't be intimidated when what you see and what you need is not yet the same because I know I know what I am going to do I know who I am faith is the key that is the key. When we look at our finances and we look at the facts, the key for us to get the breakthrough that we desire is faith. John 6, 8, another of his disciples, Andrew, Simon Peter's brother, said to him, now he got closer to what Jesus was looking at. There is a little boy here who has with him five barley loaves and two small fish. So he got closer to the faith that Jesus was looking for. Ah, and then he said, but what are they among so many people? <laughs> so then he was just like, ah, oh, these are the facts. It's just not going to work. So he went back to what he could see. This boy's lunch with smarties in, with faith in, what a lot he got. Because the moment we realize that it's not what we physically have, it is what we believe, it's the faith that we have what a lot we've got when we've got faith do not be intimidated when what you see and what you need is not yet the same because if you look at that boy's lunch and, and you say this lunch is just a few bread a few pieces of bread a few pieces fishes it's not going to be enough you need to say i need to look in another way what a lot i've got now john 6 verse 10 says jesus said Make all the people recline, sit down. Now the ground, a pasture was covered with thick grass at a spot. Oh, it looks like this picnic, this greatest magic picnic that they are going to ever have. And um, so they, it was set up. 
Um, so the men threw themselves down. So I see this picture of them jumping onto the soft grass, 5,000 in number. And they sat down for this picnic and eager to see what God was going to do. John 6, 11. So Jesus took the loaves. And when he had given thanks, he distributed it to the disciples and the disciples to the reclining people. So also he did with the fish as much as they wanted. And this morning, this reclining is just jumping out at me because they were at rest. They were resting on the grass, waiting for what God said, this is what I have. And that to me is the key that we need to see in this. They were not jumping up and down and that Jesus told them, sit down on the grass. He told them to rest. He told them to wait. Now we have to give the little that we have. If that boy held on to his lunch and he said, obviously it's not going to be enough. I always wonder what that little boy was thinking when he brought his lunch box to Jesus. I wonder what was going through his mind. He saw the people, clearly he could see the people and he saw what was in his hands and he walked up to Jesus' disciples and he said, this is what I've got. I want to have the faith of that little boy to say, I'm going to give what I have, the little that I have. And I'm not going to say what big, what difference can it make for the big need that there is out there? I mean, look at all of the hunger. Look at all of the, the where the economy is going in this country. I'm not going to look at that. I'm not going to be intimidated by what I see. I'm going to look at what is in my hands and I'm going to say, I know Jesus can do something with this. I know that if I rest in him, if I've got faith, what a lot I've got. John 6, 12 says, when they had all had enough, so they were stuffed, they had everything that they wanted. When they had all had enough, he said to his disciples, gather up now the fragments, the broken pieces that are left over so that nothing may be lost and wasted. Nothing you give to Jesus will be lost and wasted. They could have just left it there. It would have decomposed. I mean, it was bread and it was fish. It, and, and it was amongst all of these people. But, but I believe is that maybe Jesus wanted them to see what was left over after they've given the little, after this little boy. Is given. Now we don't read about the boy again, but I believe Jesus might have looked at him and given him a wink and said, yeah. Yeah, well done. You caught on to what I'm busy with. John 6 verse 13. So accordingly, they gathered them up and they filled 12 small hand baskets with fragments left by those who has eaten from the five barley loaves. And the other day, Isaac and I were having this discussion is that they had these baskets and it might have been for the disciples to take home. Hand baskets say, take home to your family. This is because they also haven't had I had time to go. But Jesus said that I will give you exactly, exactly what you need and more than you need so that you can take home. Okay, John 6, 14. When the people saw the sign, the miracle that Jesus had performed, they began saying, surely and beyond a doubt, this is the prophet. He is to come. Now to the world, seeing is believing. When they saw the miracle, they believed. But in the kingdom of God, believing is seeing. When we look at that, this boy's lunch. Now, I pack the lunchbox for Raina every day. And when I pack his lunchbox, I'm not thinking how to pack this lunchbox to feed 5,000 men. Not even the women and the children. I'm just thinking to feed my little boy of four and a half years old. So I would might maybe put in an apple sandwich. He loves popcorn, Smarties. There's the little tub that I always put the protein in and some vegetables. This boy's lunch is what you have in your hands. It's, it could be enough for one meal for you. This isn't a whole day's food for him. This is maybe a meal and a snack. It could be enough just for that little bit. But when we are willing to say that I'm going to step out in faith and I'm going to bring my lunchbox and I'm going to say, if I have faith, what a lot I've got. 
if I have faith, if I bring my little lunchbox and I step out, I take the action and I bring it, how little ever it seems, the breakthrough will come.